Hi, I'm Richard Maddox. I've been with PRE for 23 years now and uh, have been doing all of the digital products that we've made over the years. Well, I started in 93 and it was a very small company. We had about 150 employees, give or take, depending on the year and what project we're doing. In the, certainly in the 1980s, the top 10 stations in the top 10 markets had pr &E products built to uh, withstand whatever a board operator or talent could throw at them. Overbuilt or overdesigned, if you will. And that was the big thing. When I first came here, of course, you know, in the 80s and the 90s, it was very much PRE versus Wheatstone in terms of there was competition there. And yet when I walked in here, it was very much like walking into the factory at PRE. The quality of products, the fact that everything is done in house and it's all American made, that's very, very much the same. And how the company started was very much the same. In the recording industry, you know, quality audio was the first thing. And so, yeah, it's, it was quite interesting the first time I walked into the Wheatstone factory. You know, I started in PRE in 1993, and Wheatstone was uh, certainly a competitor. And uh, they, you know, they had their niche. And then PRE, we, we consider ourselves the, the high-end flavor, if you will. The thing I see about Wheatstone was that they really expanded their product line. And we did When Harris Corporation bought us, Harris Corporation just wanted to make digital consoles because the boards would be stuffed out of house and we'd literally just do final assembly. So there was a, that was the big difference was that Wheatstone really took the same attitude as PR&E had in the 80s and 90s and continued to today. I mean, it's, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Wheatstone now has, fo you know, it's completely focused on audio and the studio side of things. And so subsequently, I, I'm hoping that we can recover the quality that was in there and also to move into the IP world, which was the other real frustration, because as the industry has moved into audio over IP, we didn't have that engineering budget. And so subsequently, we were sort of stuck in the TDM world, if you will, with the uh, Vistamax audio management system, which, uh, you know, does the same job as audio over IP, but it's just that uh, there's a lot of tools, software tools, which needed to be developed, and they never were. And Wheatstone has all of those software tools <laughs> already in place. So that was, you know, that was really heartening to see that the groundwork for supporting the product is, is very similar to what we had at, at PR&E. The fact that you can powder coat wood is mightily impressive right there. The fact that in-house, I mean, you can literally go from a raw circuit board to a finished product literally in a week, I guess, right? So it's like that's something that we did not have at pr &E because it was like all the boards were manufactured by places to stuff boards. And so then they would be ordered and then they'd be back ordered and then you'd have to, you know, so it was a lot of a, a, a difficult process just to make a console as opposed to Wheatstone. It's like literally you take the circuit board, stuff the parts on it and start assembling it. And so I'm looking forward to being able to integrate the pr &E line into that way of manufacturing, which is what we had back in the 90s, the 80s in California with PRE.